Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Burt Reacts, and today we are reacting to How Big Are You, Gabriel Iglesias. Let's see what he has to say. I am officially down 100 pounds. Wow! That's amazing. I know some of you in the front are looking at me right now like, well, how big were you? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Hercules, Hercules, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that is a Nutty Professor reference that culturally will never, it's timeless. Hercules, Hercules. It's a timeless reference. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let me tell you what happened. Basically, I, I found out I was a little sick. Uh, I was diagnosed about two years ago, type 2 diabetic. Now, I maxed out at 445 pounds. Yeah, that's way past... Everybody's like, whoa. Okay? <laughs> Let's be honest. That's not even... Damn! <laughs> 445 pounds? That's borderline Discovery Channel fat. Oh, my gosh. That was like... I couldn't leave the house. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> He wants to go to the <laughs> It was really bad, you guys. And so I was waking up every morning with a, a 300 plus sugar level. Mm. Now, anyone who knows anything about diabetes, that is super high. And you do that enough times and eventually, <laughs> clear. I can't imagine traveling. He's always talking about his travel schedule. He travels like majority of the year. Traveling, flying, being on a bus and, you know being that size was probably really hard i can't imagine that like tour buses have you guys have seen what a tour bus looks like right i have been on many tour buses in my life for works works for work for jobs professionally and um they're cramped for me and i'm tiny i don't know if you can tell from my collarbones or whatever <laughs> my neck I'm a thin girl, and for me, it's a cramped space. So, you know, I just am like, good for him. This To, to, to do that for himself and his life and the quality of his life, good for him. It's so hard <laughs> to say, say goodbye, goodbye to yesterday. It was the sweetest funeral ever. <laughs> Everyone got a cupcake. It was, a, it was so nice. I'm at the doctor's office, you guys, and the doctor tells me, he says, listen, Gabriel, you're 445 pounds, your weight is out of control, your diabetes is out of control. Wow. You're 35 years old, you will not live another two years. I guarantee wow. you. Wow. And I got very emotional, you know? I was like, are you serious? He goes, two years tops. And I was like, but I just started making money. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a nice funeral. I was like, what an ass. You need a so doctor to tell you that. To finally start doing something about it, you know, because it's not like this is the first time I try to lose weight. This has been happening for a long time, but somebody tells you you're going to die, you actually wake up. So what it took was, it took the support of my friends, my family, and, you know, especially, I got to give credit where credit is due. Martin, you guys, helped me out so Aww. much because he's always encouraging me to go to the gym. Let's go work out, bro. That's a good friend. That's a good friend. I was going to ask, I wonder how, how he's lost the weight. You know, I didn't know if he had undergone a, like one of the gastric bypasses or if he's just doing it the diet and exercise way. But I guess he's telling her, you know, he could either, he doesn't have to divulge that. He could be going to the gym after post-surgery. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Can you tell I love my 600-pound life? It's literally my favorite show on television. Literally much because he's always encouraging me to go to the gym let's go work out bro let's go do something and more importantly than let's go work out is you know we're, we're on the road together 46 weeks out see of the year, so 46 is 52 weeks watching what i eat and if he sees me reaching for something i shouldn't mess with he checks me especially breakfast that's my favorite meal i love breakfast and they always put us at these nice hotels where the, they give us this continental breakfast with the buffet and you know if i'm eating eggs and bacon and sausage that's fine yes some of it's fattening but guess what no sugar if martin sees me reaching for muffins or waffles he makes a scene <laughs> he waits for me to get not about a scene feet away and he starts yelling in front of all the people at the restaurant oh yeah he's still ghetto He's still ghetto. Uh -huh. No, he's a good friend. He's a good friend. Much. He starts yelling. He waits for me to get 15 feet away, and then he starts. 
Really, bro? Yeah, embarrassment is the easiest way to get somebody to, like, back off. <laughs> Embarrass the crap out of him, Martin. He waits for me to get 15 <laughs> feet away, and then he starts. Really, bro? You're going to put that in your mouth, Fluffy? You know what that's going to do to your body? Hey, have some self-respect. <laughs> and he makes me cry at breakfast. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm like, I don't want the muffin. I don't want it. I don't want the muffin. I'm not a little whore. I'm not. Little whore. <laughs> but see, that is a real friend who would check me and remind me, hey, bro, get mad at me all you want. I just want you to live. That's a real and friend. And I got to respect that. That's why I love that dude, you know? And in turn, sometimes I got to check Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, you guys. It goes both ways. Sometimes I have to check him. Not about his weight, but he has his demons too. You know, oh, believe that. Yes, sometimes there's limited space at the hotels where we're staying at. So sometimes we got to double up on a room. And every now and then, Martino brings some random girl to the room at 3 o'clock in the morning, wakes me okay, up. Okay, Marty. Say, really, bro? <laughs> You're going to put that in your mouth? <sighs> Do you know what that's going to do to your body? <laughs> hey, have some stuff. <laughs> he doesn't. He really doesn't. So. <laughs> that's funny. Also, that poor girl would be so embarrassed. Like, imagine going into someone's room at 3 a.m. There's someone else in the room sleeping. Uh, I have to go. Sorry, there's an emergency. <laughs> oh, fluffy. But anyway, that is great. Congratulations to him. That's, that's amazing. 100 pounds down is incredible. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.